Okay, so I've nailed the shoe on. Uh, we've got the hoof packer under this broad seated out area here. So what I'm going to do now is put, just fill this area up with some more hoof packer. And this, um, this is a, a different one that I'm using this time because this has um, analgesic properties which are, um, has a bit of a painkiller in it and it's supposed to um, help with pain relief for laminitics at the same time offering a good support but as you can see it has to be used in conjunction with some kind of pad because obviously it's very paste like and it wouldn't stay in there on its own so of course as I've said with um, this hoof cast we need to support this area so I quickly just open the pouch And we just let that soak in for about 10 seconds. I'm just giving it a squeeze a bit like a sponge so that it just soaks the water in. You only need about 10 seconds or so. And then we just pop that out. And as I've demonstrated before, it's always easier if you start from the, the, the back heel and just come round and round. Again, being careful not to go up over the hairline or up over the bulbs of the heels. Just putting a slight tension on it. Make sure it adheres to itself and to the foot. And we just crisscross because I want to build up a nice supportive sole area. Um, you've got to work relatively quickly with it because it only takes, depending on the out, outside temperature today, Today's about 19 Celsius, so it's a relatively warm day, and this will start to cure in about about a minute from now. So if I don't get it on fairly quickly, the roll will go hard on me, and then I won't be able to use it. So you have to, it's important to make sure you've got everything prepared before you open the pouch and, and put the water in. Make sure you've got your gloves on already. Make sure the foot's exactly ready for the application because if you have to start messing about with it once you've opened the pouch and put the water in you'll find that the hoof cast will set <laughs> and become unusable okay I'm nearly at the end of this one now so I'm just going to crisscross across the sole again make sure you've got plenty of support in that area just come to the end of the roll. There we go. So once that's on, I put the foot down and pick the other foot up to become weight bearing. If you get this to finish on the on the bottom, it's a lot better. But if not, it doesn't matter because that'll just push into there and that'll set like that. And if it, if you do have a loose flappy bit, once it's set, you can just cut it off or rasp it or whatever because this. The hoof cast goes off very much to the strength of the hoof. So it means that if you want to, you can actually nail a shoe onto it. Um, and it rasps very much like the foot as well. So it doesn't matter how broken the foot, if you put a hoof cast on, then you can nail on top of that. This is a different application today because obviously we're, we're dealing with this um, laminitic situation. And I've put the shoe on first with the hoof packer and then the hoof cast.